thank you so much for joining me in this video. I'm going to be expanding upon a previous video where I introduced scientific notation. Here we're going to look at the rules for performing mathematical operations using scientific notation without a calculator. I know that can seem a little scary, but the reality is there's a lot of tests out there where you're not allowed to use a calculator. And so these are the types of skills that you want to develop. Plus it gives you a good idea of how to estimate. And if you can estimate, you have a, a better idea of whether your answer to a question could be reasonable or not. So let's take a look at these. The first one is addition. For addition and subtraction, the key part of the rule is your powers, your exponent, has to be the same before you perform the math. So here I have a three and this is a two. And they have to be the same. I find it's better to convert to the larger power. You're less likely to have to kind of fix the scientific notation when you're done. So I'm gonna change this nine times 10 to the nine times 10 squared to 0 0.90 times 10 cubed. Now, those are mathematically equivalent, and I, I realize this is not scientific notation correctly written as is. We're doing this just to get to the answer for our math. So now, what we can do is we know our answer is going to be times 10 cubed because we've made both of these the same power. Now we can do the addition of the coefficients in front. So I'm going to add the coefficients, and we get 3.90 times 10 to the third. Okay, let's try it again. A 3 and a 2. I'm going to focus on getting everything to be equivalent to the largest exponent. So I'm going to change this number to 0 0.25 times 10 to the third. Mathematically equivalent. Now that they're the same, I know my scientific notation exponent component is going to be to the third. So let's see, now we're going to take 2.5 plus 0 0.25 and we get 2.75 times 10 to the third. Okay. This time I have a 5 and a 6. I'm going to go with the larger, so I'm going to change this one to 0.640 times 10 to the sixth. So I know my power is going to be times 10 to the sixth, my exponent. My number in front now, I'm going to add 0.64 and 1.25 and double check my math. You can always double check these using your calculator. I just want you to know the skills for doing them by hand it would be 1.89 times 10 to the sixth. This one then minus 2 is, believe it or not, larger than minus 3. The more negative it is, the smaller the value. So I'm going to take this to both to um, the negative 2, and then when I add them together, I get 6 minus, you have to, I get a negative sign, 6.97 times 10 to the minus third. Okay, and let's take a look at this. Now we do multiplication. In multiplication you don't have to get the powers to be the same. Alright, so instead um, what we're going to do is we're going to perform the multiplication with the coefficients. So when I did that I got 2, 5, point five. And then what we're going to do is when you're doing multiplication, you add the exponents. So I would take my 3 plus my 2 and I'd get 5. Now here's the issue. This is not correct scientific notation. So you would have to fix that to put it into correct scientific notation. Okay? When we divide, you're going to divide your coefficients, and I got um, 0 0.8, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 
when I did that division. And now for division, you subtract the exponents. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So that would be times 10 to the first, or I, I think the far better way to write that is just 8.0. Okay, we've got multiplication. So we multiply our numbers in front, and we're going to get 6. Okay, and times 10. Remember we add the powers. So that would be 4 plus a minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1, so we get 6 times 10 to the first, or 60. And then our last example, 1.2, we divide the numbers in front, those coefficients. 1.2 divided by 5 is 0 0.24. When we divide, we subtract. So multiply, you add the exponents. Division, you subtract the exponents. So this would be times 10 to the 4 minus a minus 3. So be careful of those signs. That was kind of tricky. So this is actually times 10 to the 7. So we get 0 0.24 times 10 to the 7 or when we put our final answer in correct scientific notation, we get 2.4 times 10 to the sixth. So thanks for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Take care.